Many years ago, I had a dream. I wanted to figure out what was truly Indian about the Indian Institute of Management. This dream was looking for a destination and it found one here. So let me ask you, what was this dream? And I'll tell you, this dream was about bridging the distance between hearts and minds, connecting the best of Bharat with the rest of India in pursuit of one singular vision, globalizing Indian thought. As we celebrate our flagship postgraduate program, Silver Jubilee Graduation Badge, we reflect on the values we hold dear. It's not just about producing competent managers, but good human beings who are compassionate and competent at the same time. I am Kolikod's approach has been more holistic and more realistic in terms of perspectives of management and this has yielded us excellent results. Excellence, equity and inclusion are the heart of our mission. We are proud to have initiated affirmative action to bring gender parity to a flagship program with a historical low of less than 10% women rising to a high of 54% in 2013, we have repeated this feat in the year 2020 as well, showing our commitment to equity and inclusion. We also understand that our success is measured by the impact we make on our world. As we look ahead, we are focused on making a meaningful contribution to India and the world in the decades to come. Our pursuit of global accreditation reflects on our dedication to being recognized as an excellent institution. We were the first IIM to seek global recognition, starting with AMBA accreditation in 2010. Today we stand on the cusp of global triple accreditation, a rare feat for Indian B schools. Having a dream is one thing, but pursuing it with persistence and energy is quite another. In that process, we have to negotiate four paradoxes, equity and excellence, global vision rooted in local context, high tech and high touch, agility of systems and stability of timeless values. We are not only consistently ranked among the top four Indian institutes of management, but we are also making our mark on the global stage. Our recent leap of 100 spots in the QS World University rankings for both regular and executive MBA programs is a testament to our phenomenal growth. We acknowledge the love of learning, dedication of our faculty, staff and students, and the vision of our leadership and Board of Governors that has made it possible. The kind of success that we've had in the last 25 years is because of the right decisions we have taken and the right things we've done for the right reasons. Our vision for 2047, creating a roadmap of globalizing Indian thought is both ambitious and achievable inspiring at the emotional and cognitive levels and bringing vibrance and positivity to our journey forward. We believe in holistic learning in harmony with nature. Our campus is a gift of abundance and sustainability is integral to every individual who is part of it. What fulfills your life is a fully lived life itself. Fulfillment is not a distant dream but a continuum. As an institution, we are dedicated to helping individuals lead fulfilling lives. We were the first institution to start our education model digitally in 2001, breaking the mold of traditional business schools. We have diversified our models of learning and our flagship programs have equal representation of men and women, changing the dynamics of India. We believe in disruption as the ability to break the existing order and bridge humanities and management through various academic initiatives. Our values of authenticity, sustainability and fulfillment are not just ends but means of doing things. 
we believe in nurturing future leaders with deep human values let me start by telling you what hasn't changed and that's how beautiful this campus continues to be what has definitely changed is the infrastructure we have world class classrooms energy efficient with the latest technology we have hostels and obviously we have the new sports complex that has come up we have created Hello. new centers Hello. such as the laboratory for innovation venturing Request. and entrepreneurship center of excellence for social Requesting innovation Requesting all to kindly keep your mobile phones center switched off center for digital off. innovation and transformation center for climate studies and Requesting all to kindly keep your mobile phones switched off for the smooth conduct of the proceedings Sig 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 Chuk chuk Sig, sig, hey, 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 sig. Hey, hey.
requesting all to settle down in the designated seats. All graduating students, kindly settle down in your designated seats. Just a couple of announcements, please pay attention. Kindly keep your mobile phones switched off. Kindly keep your mobile phones switched off. Please refrain from applauding after the invocation and national anthem. Please refrain from applauding after the invocation and national anthem. Ensure that the logo on your sash is on the right side. The logo, the IEMK logo, is on the right side. Thank you.
tick, tick. Take, take, hey, hey, hey. Jerk, jerk. Piss, jerk, jerk. Piss, jerk. Jerk, 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 jerk. Uh, all are requested to kindly keep your mobile phones switched off for the smooth conduct of the proceedings. All are requested to keep your cell phones switched off for the smooth conduct of the proceedings. Thank you. Check, check.
All are requested to keep your mobile phone switched off for the, smooth for the smooth conduct of the proceedings. All are requested to keep your mobile phone switched off for the smooth conduct of the proceedings. Ladies and gentlemen, the academic procession will now enter the venue. All are requested to stand up and remain standing till all the dignitaries on the days have occupied their seats. May I request you to please switch off your mobile phones for the duration of the convocation for the smooth conduct of the proceedings. Further, I request parents and members of family of graduating students during the control of the degrees to refrain from coming to the front of the dais for taking photographs. Photographs will be taken and uploaded on the website and then can be downloaded from there.
Kindly settle down. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation. Maitri Bhajata Akila Hrujetri Maitri Bhajata Akila Hrujetri Atma Vadeva Paranabi पश्चत आत्मवदेव परानपि पश्चत युद्धम त्यजत स्पर्धाम त्यजत युद्धम त्यजत स्पर्धाम त्यजत त्यजत परेश्वाक्रम माक्रमणम त्यजत परेश्वाक्रम माक्रमणम मैत्री भजत अखिल हृजेत्रि मैत्री भजत अखिल हृजेत्रि May we now request Chairperson Board of Governors to formally welcome the Chief Guest, Mr. Hari Menon, Co-Founder and CEO, Big Basket, by presenting an Angavastram. Thank you, sir. May we request Chairperson Board of Governors to formally welcome the guest of honor, Mr. Debashish Chatterjee, CEO and Managing Director, LTI Mindtree, by presenting Anangavastram. Thank you, sir. May we request Chairperson BOG to deliver his address. Honorable Chief Guest, Shri Hari Menon, co-founder and CEO of Big Basket, esteemed guest of honor, Mr. Devashish Chatterjee, 
CEO and Managing Director of LTI Mindtree, Director of the Institute R, Professor Devashi Strategy, my colleagues on the board of IIMK, members of the faculty, staff, distinguished invitees, graduating students, and their family members, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is with immense pleasure and profound honor that I extend a heartfelt welcome to each one of you who are gathered here for the auspicious occasion of the 26th Annual Convocation of IIM Cozy Code. The convocations at IIM Cozy Code are deeply cherished moments. They signify the recognition of outstanding scholars through the awarding of medals and delivery of inspiring convocation addresses by esteemed personalities. Today, we are privileged to uphold this tradition with the esteemed presence of Sri Hari Menon as our chief guest. On behalf of the Institute, I am delighted to extend a heartfelt welcome to Sri Hari Menon. <clears throat> Additionally, it is a distinct honor to have Sri Debushi Shadiji join us today as, chief, as guest of honor. On behalf of the Institute, on all your behalf, I extend a warm welcome to Sri Chatterjee as well. <laughs> Furthermore, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to the accomplished young men and women who are poised to receive their well-deserved degrees today from this esteemed institute. This occasion is both solemn and joyous, marking a significant milestone in their journey and I wish them all the success and fulfillment in their future endeavors. I am honored to present a brief profile of our esteemed chief guest and guest of honor. Mr. Hari Menon, our distinguished chief guest, embarked on his entrepreneurial journey in 1999 and presently serves as the CEO of BigBasket.com company he co-founded with the vision of establishing India's premier online food and grocery enterprise. Big Basket, the nation's largest online supermarket, offers a diverse range of products and operates in 70 cities in India. A graduate of Bits Pilani, Mr. Hari Menon was honored with the Distinguished Alumnus Award in 2017 by Bits Pilani in the field of entrepreneurship. He also was recognized for his entrepreneurial powers by the Indra Group of Institutions and was named Champion for Tomorrow by CEO India Magazine. A frequent speaker at major retail and e-commerce events nationwide, Mr. Sher Mr. Menon shares his insights and experiences with industry peers and enthusiasts. Welcome, Mr. Menon. <laughs> On the other hand, Sri Debushi strategy our esteemed guest of honor brings over three decades of global IT industry experience, driving profitable growth and delivering top-notch technology service. He places a high value on team building, fostering clear vision, and empowering individuals for goal achievements. Mr. Chatterjee's focus at LTI Mindtree is on utilizing industry expertise to create a distinctive core experience. With a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from the Jadavpur University, he has a strong foundation from his tenure at TCS, Cognizant, and then at IBM. Mr. Chatterjee's contributions extend beyond his executive role, having served on the executive council at NASCOM and as a keynote speaker at the esteemed institutions. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to both of them on behalf of the Institute for their majestic presence here today. Today marks a significant milestone for the graduating students who have dedicated years of hard work to earn their degrees and awards. My heartfelt congratulations go out to them as well as their spouses, parents, whose unwavering support has been instrumental in their success. Give them a hand, please.
I am deeply thankful for the unwavering commitment and dedication shown by the Institute's faculty members. The tireless mentorship and guidance to students are invaluable and greatly appreciated. In its, in its over 27 years journey, I am Cozy Court has emerged as the premier global institute, producing exceptional business leaders annually. Its reputation is built on an academic excellence, rigorous teaching, and a commitment to knowledge and excellence shared by students, faculty, and administration. Core values such as dedication, discipline, and determination drive its success. The Institute promotes cross-border ideas exchanged with international perspectives, with Indian perspectives. Our vision includes fostering a forward-thinking India, embracing diversity, innovation, and sustainable development. Another year has seen an impressive intellectual achievement at IIM Cozy Code. And I'm pleased to note that our continued prominent presence in the national rankings affirms our commitment to excellence. Well done. <clears throat> in the fiscal year 23-24, <coughs> our institute initiated international exchange collaborations with six esteemed institutions located in UK, Japan, and Malaysia. Negotiations are underway with several other prominent business schools to solidify additional partnerships. Presently, the Institute boasts of collaborative arrangements with 56 esteemed business schools worldwide. Since 2001, our Institute has provided executive postgraduate programs, EPGP, nationwide emphasis interactive learning. These programs integrate real-time synchronous learning, fostering engagement, and accommodating work schedules through methods like audio-video conferencing, virtual classrooms. We hold three to four weekly, week-long in-campus modules throughout the program, offering a comprehensive campus experience. Today, we honor the achievement of 477 graduates from the EPGP platform mode, recognizing their successful journey through this rigorous program. The EPGP program at Cochin has gained acclaim for its exceptional value. Meticulously designed, it enhances managerial and leadership competencies, enables professionals to transition into leadership roles, and today we celebrate the graduation of 89 accomplished individuals from the EPGP Kochi campus, a testament to their dedication and growth. <clears throat> the Management Development Program, MDP, continues to be an integral part of IIM Cozy Code. This year, we've seen significant growth in the MDP activities. With the continued trust from numerous corporations and organizations sending their executives to our institution. <coughs> Our commitment to enhancing MDPs is bolstered by an expanded interdisciplinary faculty engaged in impactful research, ensuring dynamic programs with diverse perspectives. The campus infrastructure development activities at our institute continue to match the steady growth of the institutions. The construction of phase five campus buildings equipped with world-class facilities has been completed and work is underway to enhance the capacity of the rainwater harvesting ponds. The growth in faculty underscores our dedication to academic excellence. Strategic recruitment has brought esteemed scholars with diverse backgrounds enriching our learning environment. Strengthening our faculty equips us to address challenges which inspires learners and drives excellence at our institute. Our institute excels in research across diverse fields supported by collaborative efforts among faculty and students. Interdisciplinary collaboration and advanced facilities enable our researchers to create an impactful solutions leading to groundbreaking discoveries and valuable partnerships. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Professor Debushi Shadji, director of the Institute for his invaluable experience. Give him a hand. His 
expertise and meticulous attention to detail elevates the institute's stature significantly. I'm equally thankful to the dedicated faculty and the staff whose relentless efforts have propelled our institute to unparalleled greatness. I commend the outstanding human relations, mutual trust, and empathy that define the cohesive and exceptional workforce at IIM family. My esteemed colleagues on the board have consistently served as a source of inspiration and guidance, playing a pivotal role in our collective endeavors. Their wealth of experience and knowledge has been instrumental in propelling the Institute to new heights. We are deeply grateful for their unwavering support and also the support that we have received from the Government of India, Government of Kerala, and the Ministry of Education. To them, I extend my sincere thanks. I must also express gratitude to the media fraternity for their outstanding service. Their spotlight on our humble achievements and aspirations has been invaluable. To our dear media friends, I applaud your contribution to this institute and kindly request you to give us the continued support in the future. The alumni community of our esteemed institute, although only 27 years old, maintains a robust and enduring connection remaining actively engaged in a myriad of institutional endeavors. Their unwavering dedication and involvement across diverse facets of the institute life underscores their invaluable contributions. Particularly noteworthy are the profound impacts realized to esteemed alumni members who grace our board. Their exemplary leadership, guidance, and support not only reflect the depth of their commitment but also merit sincere commendation. Dear graduating students, congratulations on reaching this significant milestone in your academic journey. As you stand on the threshold of a new chapter in your lives, I want to take a moment to commend each and every one of you for your perseverance, dedication, and hard work throughout your time at IIM Cozy Court. Your achievements are a testament to your talent, intellect, and unwavering commitment to excellence. As you embark on your journey equipped with the wisdom and expertise acquired here, I have full faith in your capacity to make substantial impacts in your individual domains and societies. Challenges you face will fortify you, and possibilities ahead are limitless. Your education at IIMK is just the starting point of a continuous journey of learning. Please stay curious, explore new ideas, and adapt to change. Cultivate strong personal and professional relationships as they are crucial to your success. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and relentlessly pursue them. May you continue to reach new heights and achieve your dreams. Best wishes for your future endeavors. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. May we request the director to present the director's report. Good morning. Yeah, that's right. A reciprocation is important. Good morning. Ella varikum ende namaskaram vishu asam sakal. Vishu ushers in the onset of spring, the season of rejuvenation and the spirit of celebration that is today. Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Hari Menon, co-founder and CEO of Big Basket, the very distinguished guest of honor, Mr. Devashi Chatterjee, wondered uh, why I hear that name so many times. <laughs> Seems like a bit of an identity overlap here. CEO and Managing Director of LTI Mindtree, Esteemed Chairman Sri A. Vilayan, who you just heard, eminent members of the IMK Board of Governors seated here, invited dignitaries, members of the IMK, parents, graduating students, our friends in the media, faculty and colleagues in administration, and finally, last but not the least, graduating students, ladies and gentlemen. 
I join my chairman in extending on behalf of IMK family a very warm welcome to you on our 26th annual convocation. It is a matter of great honor for us to have two very eminent corporate leaders amongst us today. I, on behalf of the Cori Code IM family, and on my personal behalf, extend to you, sir, a very warm welcome, and we want to hear that from you as well. Thank you. I welcome students of the graduating batch, their parents and their family members, and all those who have braved the scorching sun to be with us in campus today. It has become almost like a protocol to stand up and acknowledge the presence of those who are supporting you today from your home. So could you please just get up? Could you please get up and applaud your parents? Thank you. Thank you. You can be seated now. This marks an auspicious beginning as we gather here today to celebrate the culmination of years of hard work and dedication of 569 students for the PhD practice track, EPGP and EPGP Kochi program, who will receive their degrees today. The occasion is made all the more special as we have with us three doctoral students from the PhD practice track program the first award of degrees to this pioneering PhD program that was introduced in IMK in 2019. This was to encourage working executives to pursue a career in academics and research. Additionally, 477 students from the 14th batch of EPGP and 89 students from the 8th batch of EPGP Kochi will be bestowed with their degrees today. I now take this opportunity to present to you a very brief highlight of some of the achievements of the Institute during the year. Since the list is long and the time is short, I seek your forgiveness because I may miss out on a few very important achievements. But you know, it's the most tedious part of a director's job to read out a report. So you have to bear with me because you must acknowledge those achievers. Kochi Campus inducted the current EPGP 10 batch with 172 participants, the largest executive MBA batch till date at our satellite campus. This cohort comes with an average work experience of nine years. This class also has four international participants from the UAE, USA, Saudi Arabia, and Singapore. Moving on to the EPGP in the platform mode, the 16th batch was inaugurated on 10th of December 2023 with 615 candidates enrolled. This batch witnessed record-breaking gender diversity with over 24% female participants, the highest ever for the program. This achievement has boosted IMK's commitment to enhancing diversity quotient in our executive education. And for those women participants, would you like to raise a word of, yeah, round of applause, please. Thank you. <laughs> Throughout the year, IM Code conducted 108 management and faculty development programs impacting 6,390 6, participants. In terms of international exposure and collaboration, the Institute conducted a five-day program on leadership 4.0, management and governance in the emerging world of digital leadership from January 29 to February 2, 2024 under the ITEC program. This program was attended by 30 mid-career delegates from 23 countries from five continents. I'm Cody Code successfully conducted the three days, fourth edition of Globalizing Indian Thought International Conclave held in Mysore from December 14 to December 16. This distinctive conclave, a signature event of IMK, focused on Indian knowledge systems, culture and management, and marked the first time it took place outside the IM Code Code's home turf. The event provided a unique platform for scholars, practitioners, and policymakers to exchange ideas and insights. Over the course of the three days conclave, academics, researchers, diplomats, and students of close to 20 countries participated in the international exchange. In outreach activities, I'm Cody Code collaborated with the, with the University of Chhattisgarh for the Yuva Sangam Phase 4 Cultural Exchange Program conducted under the Ek Bharat Shrestha Bharat campaign. This initiative involved selected students from Kerala, Kerala and Lakshadweep visiting Chhattisgarh to experience its cultural and social heritage. I'm Cody Code continued to prioritize social responsibility and sustainability, undertaking various initiatives to create positive social impact. 
These initiatives included community outreach programs, social entrepreneurship projects, and research studies aimed at addressing pressing societal issues. The Student Social Service Group, SSG, organized a free medical camp to commemorate International Women's Day and offered free health checkup to around 500 participants. I would like to highlight some of the extraordinary achievements of our students from the Executive Education Module. Nikhil C. Vhanumati was named a finalist for the International Clinical Researcher of the Year Award by the UK's leading pharma magazine, Pharma Times, this year. Thank you. Srijani Bandupadhyay, a student from our institute, was invited as a delegate for the Young Leaders Summit Vista 2022 at the Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore. She was also a finalist in various competitions at IIM Ahmedabad and IIM Shillong. <laughs> Additionally, Team Illuminati re received remarkable success. They won the BizWiz Business Case Study Competition at Drishti 2022 at IIM Bangalore. Looking at the blur of costumes and eager faces, I am filled with an immense sense of pride and admiration for each and every one of you. Today you stand on the threshold of a new chapter in your lives with knowledge and experience. Your journey to this moment has been marked by countless late nights, early mornings and sacrifices made in pursuit of excellence. You have balanced the demands of work, family and academia with grace and determination by proving that you are true masters of multiple roles. I have a few things to share by way of hindsight wisdom. Learn from God's own campus that nudges you in this direction. Now seeds are being planted and leaves are being composted as earth prepares for yet another uprising of green. Plant the few seeds of great ideas and frames of change in the ground of your psyche, your mind. One such idea is globalizing Indian thought. Those ideas, seeds will blossom into giant forests in the years to come. Today is not just about celebrating your academic achievements. It is also about acknowledging the transformative journey you have undertaken over the past few years. Formal instruction ends in the campus, but education ends only with life. Throughout this program, you have not only expanded your intellectual horizons, but also hopefully honed your appetite for lifelong learning. I wish to share with you the words of 19 years old Preston Bezos during a get together in New York where he described a dimension of Amazon founder Jeb Bezos's life that is arguably unknown to a lot of us. While talking about his father, Preston Bezos said, and I quote from this 19 year old, he said, I remember sitting in the kitchen when I was eight years old, watching him slowly wind a piece of wire around a nail. I remember him taking the ends of that wire and touching them to a battery. I remember when he thought, and he brought this nail close to a piece of metal and they stuck together. I remember the absolute awe in my eyes when he dragged a whiteboard from the basement and tried to explain to me, as best as you can to a 19-year-old, the absolute magic that can imbue the nail with a magnetic force. And that reason, that memory is so special for me is because we had shown, my father had shown to me to do that maybe a dozen times before, but he had shown this time in a way that it stuck. It was the caring compassion, the gleeful pursuit of knowledge, and that patient perseverance that made it possible. Those are the things that I love about my dad. Those are the things I think are so special about him. And it's what I hope at the end of the day is remembered by. Not as the creator of Amazon, but as a father who is curious, who is passionate, who is compassionate. Those are the virtues that stick in the long haul. I thought this story would be critical not just for graduating students, but also for their parents to know the kind of impact they can possibly make on their children. Use your insights and learning to make your market enterprises about romance of wealth, wealth creation. You bring something that was not there before into being. I remember once India's Oscar-winning film director, Satyajit Ray, asked why he did not make films like more popular filmmakers like Manmohan Desai. Ray's answer was that I am in the business of creating my own audience, Indian cinema 
obviously owes a lot to Ray's cinematic vision. His life teaches us that to succeed, you don't always have to be better. You need to be unique. You need to be different. Success comes from that intellectual courage to resist the obvious. Do not occupy the middle ground of mediocrity. Do not aim for success. Aim for a purpose larger than yourself. The more you aim for success, the more it may elude you. Success cannot be pursued. Success only ensues when you pursue a cause greater than your immediate goals. M my belief is that our success as an institution comes from the pursuit of a large vision of globalizing Indian thought. This purpose enlarges our vision and enhances the quality of our aspiration and the efficacy of our actions. It brings out our latent energies in the field of action. We arise like Arjuna in the arena of corporate war. Success comes to us as a happening, a byproduct of this larger than life vision. But the journey will not be easy. It will require courage, resilience, and a willingness to step outside your comfort zones. It will require you to challenge the status quo, to question conventional wisdom, and to embrace uncertainty. But it is precisely these qualities that will bring the best in you. You are not just experts in, re in your respective fields. You are stewards of change, catalysts of innovation, and champions of progress. While facing unprecedented challenges, it is up to you to help chart a course towards a bright future. Never lose, lose sight of your values. In a world that is often prioritizing prof profits over people, it is important to remain grounded in those three values, which are, we are striving to institutionalize in IAM Kori Code, Satyam, authenticity, Nityam, sustainability, and fulfillment, Purnam. Never underestimate the power of collaboration. The challenges we face are too big for any one person or organization to solve. So reach out to your peers, your colleagues, and your partners, and, mo and more than 10,000 alumni of IAM Kori Code. Together, let's build a better future for all of us. Reclaim your equanimity, which is greater than your success or failure. Retain your equanimity in the face of unprecedented bosses. A pat on the back is only a few inches from a kick down below. To err is human. To forgive is not always company policy. Turn, your, the, turn the trajectory of your desire in the direction of the desirable. Most desired things in life are either expensive, fattening, or engaged to someone else. Success often comes with delayed gratification. Be aware and respectful of last minutes. If it wasn't for the last minute, nothing would, have get, would get done in India. In closing, let me say that I have every confidence that each and every one of you is more than capable of rising to the challenge before you. Congratulations once again. I can't wait to see the incredible things you'll accomplish going forward. Thank you and Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. May I request DPM Chairperson to join us for the further proceedings. Practice track candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, please rise. The candidates will now receive their Doctor of Philosophy degrees. The cohort of graduating scholars will now come together and receive their degrees individually from the chairperson BOG. Upon receiving their degrees, they will return to their seats and remain standing. Ashish Desai. Pramukh Nanjunda Swami Vashisht, Chiranjeevi GVS. <laughs> 
Mr. Chairperson, upon the recommendation of the Academic Council, I have the honor to present Ashish Desai and two others who have successfully completed the prescribed course of studies and fulfilled all other requirements for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and request you to confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy on these candidates. By the authority given to me by the members of the Board of Governors, I am Kozi Kod. I award you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and I charge you by thought, word and deed to prove yourself worthy of the award. May I now invite EPGP Chairperson to join us for the further proceedings. All candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration offered on technology platform, please rise. The candidates will now receive their degree of Master of Business Administration. The cohort of 10 graduating students will now come together and receive their degrees individually from the chairperson BOG and director. Upon receiving their degrees, they will then return to their seats and remain standing. Abhidnya, Yogesh, Abhirup, Yogesh Santosh, Abhishek Suresh, Yugandara, Aditya Pandey, Vijay, Aishwarya, Akash. Akriti, Akriti Raj, Akshay Kumar, Ayush Kumar, Akshay Sridhar, Abhay, Alex, Abhishek, Alok, Abhishek Kumar. Can we have a big round of applause, please? Amit, Akshay Kasargod, Amit Kumar, Akhtar Khan, Amit Shukla, Amit Babu, Ankit Arora, Amol, Arun, Ananta. Ashitosh Pandey, Ananya, Ashitosh Shukla, Ankit, Ayush, Ankush, Badal, Anmol, Balaji, Anup Kumar. Bharat Kumar, Arun Chandrasekharan, Charlson, 
అరుణ్ రాఘవుణ్ణి చేతన్ అరుషి డనీనా అషిబ్ దర్పణ్ ఆశీష్ కుమార్ రౌండ్ ఆఫ్ అప్లాస్ ప్లీజ్ దేబ్రూప ఆశితోష్ అగర్వాల్ దిగంత్ ఆశితోష్ పాండే జి దినేష్ అతుల్ దీపాంశు బిషికేషన్ దివాకర్ చిత్వన్ గగన్ దయానంద్ గార్గి దిబాశీష్ గౌరవ్ దీప్జీత్ గోపిక దెబోశ్రీ గురురాజన్ దీపు హ్యాపీ ధనుష్ హర్ష్ దినేష్ హర్షిత్ ఏకతా హిమాన్షు గోకుల్నాథ్ హిమాన్షు శర్మ గౌరవ్ రౌండ్ ఆఫ్ అప్లాస్ ప్లీజ్ ఇప్సిత హరిహరన్ కళ్యాణ్ హర్షుల్ కమలాకర్ హిమాన్షు అగర్వాల్ కాంతి హితేష్ కౌశ్లేంద్ర జ్యోతి ప్లీజ్ గివ్ దెమ్ అ రౌండ్ ఆఫ్ అప్లాస్ ప్లీజ్ కిరణ్ కవి కుందన్ కేతన్ కుషాగ్రాది కిషోర్ మదన్ కుమార్ రితు మధుకిరణ్ కునాల్ మనస్ కునాల్ యాదవ్ మనీష్ శుక్ల లక్ష్మి కుమారి మన్మయ లోకేష్ మనోజ్ మనీష్ కుమార్ మయంక్ మనీష్ యాదవ్ మయూరికా మయంక్ మోహన్ మయూరి మోర్ మేఘా నాగరాజ్ మిథాలీ నవీన్ మొహమ్మద్ షమీల్ అ బిగ్ రౌండ్ ఆఫ్ అప్లాస్ ప్లీజ్ నవీన్ మోహన్ నవనీత్ శుక్ల నవనీత్ రాయ్ నేత్రావతి నయాజ్ నిధి నీతు నిఖిల్ నిధి జా 
Can we have a round of applause, please? Nikhil, Nijil, Prabhakar, Nisha, Puneet, Nishant, Raghavendran, Piyush, Rahul, Pooja. Raju, Pragya, Ranjan, Prashant, Rajit, Pratik, Rohit, Pratyesha, Romil, Pushpadwaja. Sandeep, Rahul, Sandeep Soman, Rajit, Sangamitra, Raj Shekar, Shantanu, Richa, Shalvi, Sainath. Round of applause, please. Shivangi, Salij, Shobit, Samir, Shrisha, Shamant, Sneha, Shamil, Somnath, Shamin. Saumya, Shashank, Saurin, Shivam, Tapshi, Shivangi, Tejas, Shoiba, Venkatareddy, Shloka. Round of applause, please. Vijay, Sonali, Vijayanand, Saumya, Vinod Mani, Subodh, Vishal, Sukanya, Vishesh, Sundar. Vivek, Sushri, Abhinav, Swapnil, Abhishek, Tamali, Aditi, Tanmoy, Aishwarya, Tarun. A round of applause, please. Ami Raju, Tenson, Anil, Udit, Annamalai, Vaibhav, Anoop, Vastosh, Apoorv, 
विशाख प्लीज कीप दी अप्लॉज गोइंग अर्पित विष्णु आशा पुष्पा आशीष कुमार अभिषेक आशीष कुणाल आदित्य आशीष सिद्राम अक्षिता आशित रक्षित अलीशा आयुषी अमन गुप्ता बी कृष्णन अनाज बिनु अंकुर बोदायन अंसा कैन यू हैव अ राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज चरण बुलबुल चिलकुरी चिन्मया दिनेश जाई एकता देवराती हरिगोविंदन देबर्षि हर्ष देवदीप हिमानी गवा हिमांशु गिरिराज जयंता गौतम किरण Hari Krishnan Please give them a big round of applause Kaushik Harpal Krishna Chaitanya Joydeep Krishnendu Karishma कुमार प्रीतम कुमार मृत्युंजय कुमार संभव लक्ष्मीकांत कुणाल फातक मधुसूदन लक्ष्मी माधवी महेश मनमोहन मोहम्मद गाउस मयांक शनेकर नामदियो मयूर नम्रता प्लीज गिव दम अराउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज मीनल नारायण स्वामी मोहम्मद जुनैद निखिल पी निखिल राय निरंजन निर्माल्या पल्लवी निशांत पंकज पहेली 
परमप्रीत पलक पर्णश्री पंकित पायल प्रणय पूजा प्रसून प्रदीप a round of applause please pravish pradeep rahul prithvi rahul r prithvi raj ranjana रहमान रश्मि राहुल रजत राज रजिता राकेश रितेश रंजित शंकर्षण ऋषभ संसार ऋषिन लेट्स गिव देम अ राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉस संतोष रोहित Saptarshi Rohit Singh Sarfaraz Rohit Srinivasappa Saurabh Satyendra Sayali Saurabh Ajay Round of applause please selvaraj shankar shashank sherin shivam shilpa shreya shine सिद्धांत शिव प्रकाश श्रीजित शिवेंद्र श्रीजित वल्लतोल श्रवण शुभदीप सिद्धार्थ शुभोदीप कर सौम्य प्रदा सुमित श्रावणी राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज प्लीज स्वाति सुकमोय तन्मय सुशांत वेंकटेश थॉमस भूपति वसंता वीजो वेंकटेश लेट्स गिव देम अ राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज विक्रम विजय वीरेंदर विकिनार विश्वनाथ विपिन विवेक जी विष्णु विवेक शरण यदु
And the last cohort, Vaikom, Yogesh, Xavier, Nikhil, Karan, Rajni, Kapil, and Shivani. Please give them a big round of applause. Please keep the applause going.
Can we have some noise of cheer? Please keep the applause going. Not cheerful enough, please keep it going. Mr. Chairperson, upon the recommendation of the Academic Council, I have the honor to present Abhidnya Sanjay Ukalkar and 467 other students of EPGP 14 batch, Karen Atul Bora and eight other students of EPGP 13 batch who have successfully completed the prescribed course of studies and fulfilled all other requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Business Administration and request you to confer the degree on these candidates of whom 368 are present and 109 will receive the degree in absentia. By the authority given to me by the Board of Governors, I am Kozi Kod. I award you the degree of Masters of Business Administration and charge you that by thought and deed and word, you will prove yourself worthy of this award. Thank you. You can all resume your seats. The Indian Institute of Management Coecord Gold Medal for Scholastic Performance in Executive Postgraduate Program has been awarded to Chilukuri Chaitanya EPGP 14B029, who will come forward and receive the medal from the Chief Guest. May I invite EPGP Chairperson Kochi Campus to join us for the further proceedings. All candidates, for the degree of Master of Business Administration offered at Kochi campus, please rise. The candidates will now receive their degree of Master of Business Administration. The cohort of 10 graduating students will now come together 
and receive their degrees individually from the chairperson BOG and director. Upon receiving their degrees, they will then return to their seats and remain standing. Abhishek Balachandra Holi, Balasubramaniam, Aishwarya, Binti, Alan, Hari Krishnan, Anamika Dev, Harish, Balunath, Aida. Please give them a round of applause. Keep it going. Eldo, Itty, Finns, Joseph, Harish Chandran, Jovan, Jibu Varghese, Komal, Kinjal, Vishnu Vardhan. Keep the applause going. Kiran, Krishna Kumar, Kritika, Lalit, Mitun, Matthew, Niksha, Muhammad, Sibin, Nikita. The applause doesn't have to stop. Keep it going. It's a small cohort. Saurav, Omar, Srijit, Padma Lochan, Srinad, Parthiv, Swikriti, Prabhu, Tom Francis, Pratap. Udeep, Puneet, Ajas, Rahini, Akash, Saprativa, Aniruddha, Setu Kumar, Ankit, Sharnapa. Ankita, Shubhashish, Anup, Srijani, Apurva, Sufi, Arun, Uday Krishna, Arun Venugopal, Venkata Suresh.
Keep the applause going, please. One last burst. Asai Tambi, this is the last cohort coming up. Asai Tambi, Vineet, Ashish, Vishnu, Ashwin Parthsarthi, Vishnu Nair, Aswin Karanmail and Babu Vargis. One big round of applause, please. Thank you. Mr. Chairperson, upon the recommendation of the Academic Council, I have the honor to present Abhishek Balachandraholi and 87 other students of EPGP 08 batch and Sachin P. Jimmy of EPGP 07 batch of Kochi campus who have successfully completed the prescribed course of studies and fulfilled all other requirements for the award of the degree of Master of Business Administration and request you to confer the degree on these candidates of whom 68 are present and 21 will degree, receive the degree in absentia. By the authority given to me by the Board of Governors, I am Kozi Kod. I award you the degree of Master of Business Administration. I charge that by thought, word, and deed, you prove yourself worthy of the award. The Indian Institute of Management Cori Code Gold Medal for Scholastic Performance in Executive Postgraduate Program of Kochi Campus has been awarded to Rahini K, who will come forward and receive the medal from the guest of honor. May I now invite EPGP Chairperson to lead the Oath of Honor. All graduating par students will now take the oath, oath of Honor. Please rise. When I mention my name, please replace it with your own. I. Aishwarya, as a graduate of IM Koyakod, will take the responsibility of my actions and be accountable for its foreseeable consequences. I will hold every other human being in high regard, acknowledging the inherent differences honoring the rights of others to be treated with dignity. I will act with utmost integrity 
and pursue my work upholding the highest ethical standards. This pledge I make freely and upon my honor. Thank you. Kindly settle down. May I request Chairperson Bioji to request the guest of honor to deliver his address. So I request the guest of honor to kindly deliver his address. Good morning. Am I audible? I'm really pleased and uh, honored to be here to celebrate along with all of you this uh, remarkable achievement that you have all gone through. Uh, my regards to Sri Vilayan, Chairperson I am Kojikot, Board of Governors. My namesake, Professor Debashish Chatterjee, Director I am Kojikot. Members of IMK Board of Governors and Mr. Hari Menon, co founder and CEO of Big Basket. And of course, the graduating students and their parents and families. Before I start, congratulations to all the graduating students. <laughs> and I have also realized that this occasion is very special for you. You don't often get to see two CEOs. Two Haris, I think Mr. Hariharan was here yesterday among you, and Hari is here. And most importantly, two Devashish charities. <laughs> See, I, I have been in IT for almost 35 years, and the first thing you should know about anybody in IT that we have stopped talking without slides. So this is really a challenging the status quo for me, but I'll try. So let me just structure the thoughts in three ways. One is what's happening in the industry. I'm sure all of you or many of you will be getting back into the industry. So what's really happening in the industry? Uh, secondly, you know, what is the role that you can play in the industry? And last but not the least, uh, you know, how do you do that? I will share some of my personal thoughts around that. So if you talk about the industry, the industry is all about uh, VUCA world. I don't know if you heard the term before. Volatile, you know, uh, <clears throat> uncertain, complex, and uh, ambiguous world. And to add on to that, uh, we also see a world which is extremely paradoxical. So let me just explain to you in two minutes what I mean by that. The world is extremely, I mean, highly interconnected right now with a lot of moving parts. For example, go back to 2008 financial crisis. When the financial crisis happened, it pretty much shook the entire world. Though the event happened, started at one particular part of the world, it did not take too much to impact all the world, all the industries. And that's how interconnected it was, or it is. And the very recent example where in 2022, during the pandemic, or just after the pandemic, we had this Suez Canal blockage. You all must be aware of that, when uh, a ship got stuck over there, and even the recent issues about uh, the Houthi attacks, so the entire supply chain gets impacted. Then you have the pandemic, you have the wars going on, and just to put some anecdote, I have a, you know, I've come across one particular client of mine, you know, they were really badly impacted by the supply chain issues in China during the pandemic. And just then, just when they thought that they have recovered extremely well, then the war started. And guess what? Their biggest market was in Ukraine and in Russia. So this kind of interconnected situations, and this is what I mean by VUCA world. But having said that, you know, the, the, we are also going through a very critical paradoxical time. And what I mean by paradoxical is, you all know about the situation with the interest rates. The interest rates are the highest at this point of time. But why do you take the interest rates up? The Fed has taken the interest rate up because they wanted to control the inflation. And the inflation is not coming down. At the same time, 
the unemployment is at a record low in the US. So given all these scenarios, I think it's a very interesting time that we are going through right now. It's a VUCA world. It was always a VUCA world in my view. The world is always changing, but we are also living through a paradoxical times. So in this situation, when you are getting into the industry or you are going to probably continue what you are doing earlier after your graduation, I want to just talk about a few things that is expected from you. All of you heard about the Kodak as a company. And why do you remember Kodak now? You remember Kodak because we jokingly say, don't have a Kodak moment. And what do we mean by that? You all understand. At one point of time, Kodak was the one company that everybody was looking at, but they completely missed the digital wave. So if you, me if you miss a particular wave, then you almost become irrelevant. Uh, Mr. Hari is sitting over here, and I'm very proud to sit alongside him. And uh, he's an e-commerce veteran. And uh, alongside, uh, you, know, uh, you know, he has done these experiments with Fab Mart, Fab Mall, and now Big Basket. And the reason I'm talking about Big Basket is, again, this has transformed the way of thinking, the way of living. At least I know, I experience it in my home every day. And it changed the way we buy groceries. So where I'm heading to is, if you look at this VUCA world, if you look at this uncertain times, the only thing that we need to focus is, how do we change? Change is the only constant. And uh, you have to think of how we can contribute to that particular change journey. I'll give you one more example. I will take the name of this uh, organization. It's Adidas. All of you know about Adidas. And uh, you know what happened to Adidas? They had 70% of their stores closed down during the pandemic. And this is all public information. They had these sponsorship deals with the uh, Tokyo Olympics as well as Euro 2020, which were all at risk because of the pandemic. And uh, they changed their strategy. They had to change. And the way they changed their strategy, they implemented a direct-to-consumer uh, system and uh, an application. So the whole strategy shifted to direct-to-consumer rather than stores. And their business model was, instead of 33% being sold online, they wanted to move 50% of their goods sold online. They started the journey. They got impacted in some other ways. But and if you look at India, for example, the, the, the COVID, during the COVID times, the UPI, the cashless, all these things are nothing but change. But the most important thing about all these aspects is we are continuously innovating. We are continuously reinventing ourselves in terms of how we want to shape the business for the future. So if you ask me to leave one message for you uh, in this forum is you have to think of change and how can you help in terms of making changes because change is the only constant. So let me just, before I close, let me talk about some of the lessons I have learned you know, in, from others, some of the things I believe in, in terms of how do, you, how do you contribute in terms of continuous innovation and change. So there are three things that I do in this journey. The first thing is uh, simplify. I think the world is complex, but you all have a role to play to simplify things. Simplification gives you agility and agility gives you the throughput that you require to drive a business faster. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. And uh, even when I look at, uh, you know, the, the, you know, the, when I joined, I mean, I can take a few moments to talk about my experience in LTI mine tree or other erstwhile mine tree. When I had joined, I realized that my biggest confusion in the organization was nobody was able to articulate what is the strategy of the organization. And we had a nice strategy deck running into some 15, 20 slides. And then I realized that this is not going to help. So I designed something called, I mean, if some of you have been following uh, Mindry in 2019, I designed something called 4x4x4, four by four by four, which was nothing but putting my entire strategy into one slide in a very simple way. And the reason was that strategy is not for yourself. Strategy is for the company, strategy is for your clients, strategy is for your partners, for everybody who looks at that slide they should be able to relate to it. And it was a huge hit. In fact, I can tell you by doing that simplification, I could get all my associates and employees aligned, all my partners and clients aligned to what exactly we want to do. So I think simplification is something that is very, very important for you to drive as you go along. The next thing which is very important is differentiate. And differentiation is a word which we often use, but probably it is much harder to implement than you think about it. 
And uh, especially in a situation uh, like what we are going through right now, the economy is not looking good, the markets are not looking good. 2024 is turning out to be challenging, 2023 was even more challenging. But in that situation, you have to differentiate. I'll give you a simple example. By the way, those of you may not know me, I am a big cricket fan. I love cricket. I used to play the game. I watch the games even now. And I always bring some cricketing examples. How many of you, I don't know, have followed the under-19 Indian cricket team? I'm not talking about Indian cricket team, but under-19. And if you have followed under-19 cricket team, that's a classic example of differentiation. And the differentiation is, in India, the under-19 cricket team, you only get to represent once. Whereas across the world, you can play once, twice, whatever it is. And the model is so nice, once you part, are part of under 19 and if you succeed, then you straight away get into the rank and look at what the cricket has done to India. Today we can actually, if you want, you can have three T20 teams, you can have three test teams, whatever you want to do. But it is a differentiation that was started by one of our legendaries, Rahul Ravid, which I feel has been a very, very unique differentiated. If you are not, if you are not able to follow what I'm saying, just do a little bit of Google, you will understand. I think the strategy of under-19 cricket team in India is probably very, very unique compared to any of the under-19 anywhere else. It's a differentiated strategy. And I, as I talked about change, and I, as I highlighted the fact that you have to continuously innovate, you have to continuously reinvent business models, I think the most important thing, and I, I heard uh, Professor Debashish Chatterjee also talk about it, you have to get out of the comfort zone from time to time. And when you get out of the comfort zone, you have to also catch the next S-curve. If you look at your journey, and the journeys that you have had so far, and the journeys that you are going to have later on, whether you talk about your own individual journeys or your company's journey, wherever you work, it's all a series of S-curves. One S-curve followed by the other, and then the next one. And you have to always be careful to catch the next S-curve. Kodak moment is because Kodak missed out the next S-curve but you have to always catch the next test curve. And by doing that, or in order to do that, you have to sometimes unlearn and relearn as well. Not only just challenge the status quo, but also unlearn and relearn. And uh, that's what you need to do. And again, when I talk about change, when I talk about, before I conclude, I will give you one of my favorite examples of change, uh, or how change management has to be done. It's again, a cricketing example, and it is the the transfer of captaincy from Dhoni to Kohli. And if you look at it, at that point of time, and you know, again, I presume that all of you follow cricket, so that time, Dhoni was the captain. He was actually enabling the change, and Kohli was leading the change. Now, I don't want to go further in terms of what's happening now and all these things, but I thought that was a very nice example how an ideal change management has to be done. And it happened in the cricketing world. It happens in organizations all the time. And those who succeed in doing change, they're the winning organizations. So that's all I wanted to talk about. I, I don't know whether it was useful or not. But just to summarize and recap, uh, we are really thriving in a VUCA world, which uh, requires that you challenge the status quo and continuously innovate. Uh, as uh, CEO advisors and potential CXOs, which you will be at some point of time, you have to lead the change and you have to also enable the change. It's a, it's a great time to graduate and help build businesses. And uh, if you are looking at, if you're looking for some ideas or some lens through which you can do all these things, I always prefer the lens of simplify, differentiate, and change. And I think that can really help. So before I conclude, I want to again thank Sri Velayan and uh, Professor Debashish Chatterjee for giving me this opportunity for being here to be with all of you. And uh, lastly, congratulations once again for all the you know, uh, people who are graduating today and wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for those inspiring words. May I now request Chairperson BOG for the further proceedings. I now request our chief guest to deliver the convocation address. Before I start, I must tell you, you know, I 
I graduated in 1983. A lot of you actually would have just been born then. And, and then we never had anything called a convocation. Our degrees were sent home by registered post acknowledgement due. I don't think there's, that exists anymore except government letters come like that. And somebody had to sign that and give it back. And that was what uh, the, the situation was during our time. I see convocations now. I have three boys. Uh, I made sure I went for all, the, all their convocations and I enjoyed it so much. It's such a great thing that we all missed. Respected chairman, and esteemed members of the governing council, guest of honor, director, faculty members, honored guests, and most importantly, the graduating students. It's my pleasure to be part of this momentous occasion, the 26th annual convocation of I am Cori Code that celebrates a significant milestone in your lives. Today, we mark the culmination of hard work and dedication as we witness the graduation of few exceptional individuals from one of the most prestigious institutions of the country, the Indian Institute of Management. As you stand on the cusp of new beginnings and endless opportunities poised to graduate, I'm sure you make your parents, guardians, and teachers very proud. How relevant is all this learning? The world, specifically India, has entered a fast phase of growth, spurred by advancements in technology and infrastructure. The economy is doing well and poised for a lofty growth. Life from now on is all about application of these learnings, academic and social, over the last years. With that sound foundation, as you embark the exciting journey ahead. I share some thoughts with you, things I wish I knew when I was graduating. This is all about you. Everything that I'm going to do now is, to, is going to talk about you. And so I suggest that you gather yourself three armors, what we call the kavach. One for the external self, one for the within or the innate person that's you and one for the holistic person that you want to mature into. So Kavach number one, your learning journey starts from the day you enter the fraternity of working. A very important thing that I want to leave you with, don't ever be afraid of saying I don't know. But Keep saying that I want to learn. Learning does not always stem from success stories. When you fail, you learn the skill of problem solving. You habituate innovation and creativity to find solutions when you fail. And you pick yourself up and move forward. The other message that I want to leave you with is pivot when you have to. And I have a lot of examples of my past entrepreneurial journey where I've made these pivots as a very emotional, attached entrepreneur. And each of these pivots have actually helped me move on. But a word of caution here, you're not attempting to be the best. You're attempting to get better. Please keep that in mind. There is only one Virat Kohli, but every member of the cricket team is good and strong. You're only reinventing a better form of yourself repeatedly. And when I'm focusing on upskilling as a professional, solving is crucial, problem solving is crucial as much as the art and skill of listening. Just by listening, you not only display a good attitude, but there is so much learning in listening. Kavach number two, there is no substitute for impeccable character and a positive attitude. Your ethics, values, integrity, honesty should be a bedrock of your life 
and there is no proxy for this. So get stylish, don that attractive, unimpeachable smile and attitude. Smile, laugh and be pleasant and pack a charming body language. I'm certain every well-wisher well -wisher of yours you come across has enunciated this to you. But I can't impress enough on how crucial this is. The ramification of building the inner self has magnifying ripple effects, which one can't possibly fathom at the present moment. The biggest gain, though, is that of winning enduring trust amongst your team members. So crucial to efficient delivery of expectations. This kind of trust also ensures that you don't need to keep worrying about members of your team trying to pull you down. In cricket, runouts happen only due to poor understanding between players. This is so in every sport, isn't it? It is just as true in the corporate world. Teams that work on trust and good understanding of each other always, always win. And the final kavach, which is kavach number three, the armoring of the transcended you. You have all heard, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. We don't want to be that Jack. I set up a music studio about four or five years ago, where I jam, my college mates 40 years back land up over weekends and we make music. My weekend evenings are booked. I am out there having roaring laughs with my friends. Life is not about work alone. The larger part of life is living it to the fullest, nurture hobbies, see the world, make, your, make friends, Spend meaningful time with your family and find time for healthy exercise. It's all about quality of life and finding the a right happy balance is really important. Finding time to live life will only inspire your work. Each of these three coverages is significant in complementing your current degree, prowess and learning. I have not expressed any new mantra, nor have I given you any gyan that is revolutionary. I'm merely stitching together armors that will make you battle ready for your professional life. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. May I now invite the chairperson BOG to announce the convocation close. So I declare the convocation closed. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. Janagana mana athi nayaka jayahe Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab sindh gujarat maratha Dravida utkala banga Vindhya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchala Jalati Taranga Tava Shubhana Me Jage Tava Shubha Ashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Gadha Janagan Mangal Dayaka Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vidhata Jaya He, Jaya He, Jaya He Jaya 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 He Ladies and gentlemen, the academic procession will now leave the venue. You may please stand up and remain standing till all the members of the procession have left the venue.